Howdy YouTube, I'm Matthew from Wide Vision, a metal fabrication business. And Cinder sent me out this cute little tiny inverter welder to do a little review on. And this is my thoughts on this little welder. Uh, first off, this thing is absolutely tiny. Look at that, no muscle needed to lift that, yeah. And it's 220 or 110 capable, you don't have to uh, tell it which voltage you're inputting, just plug it in and it knows. And for testing this welder, I simply started out by just doing some welding pad stuff here, figuring out the settings and how well it welded. It's got two dials on the front. One is your amp setting, which goes from zero to 200. And I don't think that is the actual amp output because I felt like I was having to turn this thing up a lot higher than what I normally do with my other welders. Definitely not even close to hot enough. Almost still a little cold. And I'm gonna actually go up just a little more in amps. It also comes with an arc force dial here, which I found really nice for your 6010 and 7018 rods. I couldn't tell any difference when I welded with 7014 with it, which makes sense because 7014 is a very smooth rod. 7018 is a little more picky on your arc length. I'd have to say this welder has a very smooth arc. It really impressed me. And to quantify that just a little bit, I have been welding for over 30 years, and the majority of my stick welding is done with my big Lincoln diesel-driven welder on my welding truck. So I'm actually comparing this thing to that welder, and I'm saying it's actually comparable, believe it or not. That's, that's a pretty bold statement to be making. So after I ran a few beads on this weld pad here, I decided to build something with it, because that's the best way to review and test a welder, right? So I built this three-point to trailer hitch adapter for my tractor. And there's quite a bit of half-inch plate on this thing. And there's even one-inch plate up here to hold the gooseneck ball on. And this welder did really well with all of that metal. Look at that! I ran this welder for several hours putting this thing together and I never hit the duty cycle on it. The only problem I had with it in this build was I ended up melting the rod holder. And that is the downside to this welder is the ground cable and the rod holder that they send with it are short and not very good quality. Those are very short leads. <laughs> Two thoughts on that is, one, I feel like every welder company is sending really cheap leads with welders now. And two, this is a sub $100 welder as of making this video. So if you're gonna use this welder a lot, you're gonna end up spending a couple hundred dollars on good leads for it. The other downside to it is I think this fan is really, really loud on this thing. Turn her on! But it obviously keeps this thing cool because in welding this hitch together, the highest temperature I recorded on this welder was 86 degrees. That's not even getting warm. That air come out of there feels cool, so. So that fan is definitely moving a lot of air and it's definitely keeping it cool and within operating temperature. So to sum up this video, I am truly impressed with this little welder. This thing is dinky, it welds really good, and I think it's gonna be great for me as something I can use here in the shop so I don't have to string the leads in for my big Lincoln welder. Or if I wanna go on site and I'm working in somebody's shop, I can just take this thing with me, plug it into their outlet, 
I really hope you found this video useful. And if you really want to see this welder in action, check out my video on building this hitch here. I used this welder for several hours, almost continuously, to make this thing. And it performed really, really well. Very happy with its performance. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Yep, that'll be it.